This is the Construction Leading Edge podcast from ConstructionLeadingEdge.com and ConstructionBusinessAccelerator.com. My name is Todd DeWalt. It's my job to help you maximize revenue and eliminate chaos. This episode is the Builder Show show. If you're going to IBS 2019, that's the International Builder Show in Vegas in February 2019, and you're wondering where you should start, then this is for you. In this episode, you'll hear about a few exhibitors you need to visit, along with a few educational sessions you should check out. You'll also hear about some of my best tips for eliminating chaos that I share with my clients who are builders and remodelers. Before we get into that, question for you. Have you ever wondered how the big successful builders and contractors do it? How do they grow consistently? Why don't they have cash flow issues? What are they doing that you're not? And then do they think differently than you do? Do they have some secret? Well, I've got a free video series that I want to get into your hands. It's the secrets of successful builders and contractors. And here's what you're going to uncover in this free video series. The one hidden cost that causes a lot of builders and contractors to bleed cash and they don't even know it. There's this revolutionary new way of thinking that will help you drive revenue, deliver projects on time, and grow your business. You'll also learn what most big contractors do to succeed that very few small to medium-sized businesses do. You'll also learn why some of the biggest problems you're facing may not be problems at all. And you'll also learn the underlying problems causing your cash flow issues, and you'll pick up a few strategies that are so obvious you might kick yourself for not doing them already. To get your hands on your free videos, just go to constructionleadingedge.com slash owner. Now, let's talk about those tips for builders and remodelers who want to eliminate chaos and make time slow down. Several of my coaching clients have actually told me that after implementing some of these strategies, after we've worked together for a very short time, they actually find themselves a little bored trying to find things to do. So if that's a problem you would like to have, then these tips are for you. These are things that will help you eliminate chaos and make time slow down. Number one is to batch communication with your customers. A lot of the builders and remodelers I talk to and work with in my coaching program and in the Construction Business Accelerator are constantly responding to text messages, phone calls, emails. They feel like a call center. They feel like they have to respond immediately to customers. And the reality is you don't. There's a better way to run your business and get better results than being a call center. And I call it batching communication. So here's what you do. You send your clients a weekly update. This can be a report. This can include pictures. Ideally, there may be a software package that you're using that you can communicate with, but send them a weekly update, include pictures, tell them in this report the the things that they want to know. Tell them, here's what happened in the last week. Here's what's scheduled to happen next week. Here's what we need from you. If you need selections, decisions, payments, et cetera, put that in there. And then condition your clients to look at the report. Let them know up front, set the expectation, hey, we'll send out a weekly update. It'll have all the information you need. Let them know that expectation up front. And then when they do ask you a question, your response should be, I'll include that in the report that goes out later on this week. Look at the report. Condition people to not expect an immediate response from you, but condition them to look for the information in the report. Also, maybe in conjunction with a weekly update or a weekly report, you can have a weekly meeting with your clients and tell them, I'll review the the meeting or I'll review, review the update report with you at this meeting, answer any questions you might have, but you're batching communication. Instead of spreading the communication out throughout the week, every day, you're handling it in a batch. That's one great way to save some time. And here's the deal. You need to be spending your time on things that really matter. You don't need to be spending your time responding to texts and phone calls and emails from clients, especially at all hours 
of the day after working hours when you should be spending time doing stuff you want to do and with your family. But you, during the day, you need to be spending your time on things that are really profitable. And I have a list of 10 activities worth $1,000 an hour, minimum of $1,000 an hour. Some are worth well over that. You can check out episode 79 of my podcast to find out what are the 10 activities that you should be spending your time on that are worth 1000 bucks an hour. Number two, my second tip for builders and remodelers who want to eliminate chaos and make time slow down is to focus on the handoff. If you watched the 2016 Olympics in Rio, then you may have seen where the men's and the women's relay teams both made historic blunders. They dropped the baton during the handoff, during the relay. And in in the 4x100 meter relay, it doesn't matter how fast you are during your leg of the race if you drop the baton. It it doesn't matter because if that drop if the baton gets dropped, then it doesn't matter. So it's the same way in construction, okay? There are a few key points in a construction project. If you're building a home, if you are remodeling a home, whatever work you're doing, there are a few key points. If you were to look at the process, you would find that the majority of your problems and the majority of your chaos come from a, a couple of key points. I wanna talk about two of those key points. This is the handoff. The first one is the handoff from sales or pre-construction to construction. This is when it goes from the, the estimating and selling side to the guys in the field, we're going to build it, hand it off from the business owner or sales manager to the superintendent, from the pre-construction guys to the project manager. So many things fall apart. I've seen this in everything from bathroom remodels all the way up to $30 million re, uh, new office building projects. This is a key point because information has to be packaged up and handed off. Lots of information, lots of knowledge, lots of experience has to be packaged up. And this is where a lot of problems come from. What typically happens is if you were to uh, look at this, go back to the relay analogy, the pre-construction team comes along and they try to hand it off and go back to do something else, but they just end up running together. The pre-construction team and the construction team are running together. They're both holding on to the baton or they're constantly running back and forth. It's, it's a mess. So a lot of chaos happens at the handoff from sales to construction. The other big area of, of, of chaos, especially for home builders and remodelers, is at move-in. When you're handing the project over from construction to move-in. This is where, in some cases, some custom home builders would have told me that 95% of their problems happen at the end of the project. So here's what you need to do. Resist the urge to rush through the handoff phase and get to the next thing. Just resist that urge. Understand that this handoff phase, if you'll do this right, this will generate time for you. This is a good, a good investment of time. And when you invest your time in, in something, then you need to look at it from a standpoint of getting a return on time invested, the ROTI. And in the building and remodeling business, there are very few things that you can invest time in and get a better return than managing the handoff. So since this is where most of your problems occur, do a few things, all right? Create a handoff checklist. What are all the steps when we hand off a project from sales to construction? What are all the things that we need to have done? What are the selections that need to be made? What subcontracts need to be in place? What is it? Make a, an all-inclusive list of everything that needs to be done and then package that up and actually have a handoff meeting. Again, this works for the handoff from sales to construction and also from construction to move in. Create a, a handoff checklist package it up, be disciplined about working through all of the steps, and then have a handoff meeting. The number, th the, the number three tip that I have for eliminating chaos 
reminds me of one of my favorite sayings, which is, quote, the best way to starve a horse is to have two people feed it. One of the most common root causes of chaos in construction businesses is the lack of clearly defined roles and responsibilities. There are two people feeding the horse and both of those people think the other person is feeding it and you end up with a dead horse because the best way to starve a horse is to have two people feed it. In certain parts of the business, there are either multiple people working on something or nobody is working on it because they thought somebody else was doing it. For each key area of your business, you need to establish a step-by-step -step process. These are all of the things that we're going to do and then put someone's name by it. For example, in the selling process, when it comes to pre-construction or estimating, what are all the steps in that process and who does what? It's, this is not an issue if one person is completely responsible, but if there are multiple people working on something, then it needs to be clearly defined who does what. Selling, ordering materials, I've been on job sites where three or four or five different people are ordering materials. And guess what? The materials don't show up when they need to be there. Customer interaction. Who will talk to the customer? Very important if you want to keep your customers happy. Clearly define who's responsible for sharing information with the customer. Who's going to send invoices? Who's going to follow up? on invoices, who's gonna pay bills, who's gonna review accounts payable, who's going to review accounts receivable, who's going to schedule the cruise, who's going to train, who's going to hire. For the key areas of your business, you should clearly define roles and responsibilities, especially if you are in a partnership. Partners are especially susceptible to starving horses. Number four, one of the, the root causes of a lot of chaos comes to um, finances. There are cash flow issues, um, trouble making payroll. Maybe you don't know if your jobs are profitable. You're always putting out fires. You're reluctant to, put, to look at the bank account. And there's this underlying anxiety and fear about finances. And that just that sets off a, a chain reaction that looks like a lot of chaos in business. So a couple of tips. If this is you, if you, if the root cause of some of the chaos in your business can be traced back to your finances, then I have two tips for you. Number one is to fire yourself from doing your own bookkeeping and get somebody on your side who can give you the information that you need and then take all of the payroll and bookkeeping and reporting headaches off your plate. Believe it or not, there are companies out there that do this. They enjoy bookkeeping, they do it every day, and they know how to do it. They can do it better than you, they can probably do it cheaper than you and free you up to go do some of those thousand dollar an hour activities that I mentioned earlier. One such company that, that I know of and I trust, they actually do my bookkeeping, is the Apparatus Contractor Services Team. If you wanna find out more about them, what they can do, and and request a call with the Apparatus Contractor Services team, you can go to constructionleadingedge.com slash headache. There's a brief video about what they do there, and then you can fill out a little form to request a call, and they will get right back with you, and they will help you. They will take your payroll and reporting and bookkeeping headaches off your plate, so you can do other things. The number two tip that I have for you if finances are causing chaos in your business is to run your business from right to left. Most business owners operate from a left to right approach, but there's a way to run your business from right to left, not from left to right. What that means is you decide what the lifestyle is that you want. And then you decide what's the personal income that you need in order to support your lifestyle. And then you work from right to left to determine what is the revenue that you need to bring in each year, each month, in order to make all that happen. That sounds great. But the way to actually make that show up is to use my Revenue Maximizer program. It's the embodiment of right to left 
thinking. Here's what a few clients said after they started using the revenue maximizer. Thomas said this, just starting to think right to left has been a huge lead domino. I'm starting to enjoy my job. I haven't enjoyed my job in a long time. This is a business owner who's been at this for over 10 years. He said, I haven't enjoyed my job in a long time. I'm starting to enjoy it. I see things unfolding and I have hope now. Here's another one from Matt and Katiana, who were just on the most recent episode of the, my podcast. They said this, we're finally making the money that we deserve to be making. Not only do our financials look better, but we are so much happier, motivated, and excited about the future of our business. So you can get the Revenue Maximizer for free, believe it or not. You can get this template and the training for free when you sign up for a free 10-day test drive of the Construction Business Accelerator over at constructionbusinessaccelerator.com. Now, let's talk about a couple of exhibitors that you need to check out at the Builder Show in Vegas. First up is Stack Construction Technologies. Stack provides cloud-based takeoff and estimating software that can be used by all types of contractors, including custom home builders, general contractors, roofers, painters, flooring installers, drywallers, landscapers, and all other trades. Stack helps contractors reduce the time they spend on takeoffs by 75% or more by moving from a manual process to a digital process. Contractors can upload their digital plans to Stack and then perform takeoffs by simply clicking around the plans to do measurements and counts. The software performs all the material calculations in the background, making the estimates pinpoint accurate and eliminating manual errors. The bottom line is this. Contractors will spend a lot less time performing takeoffs and feel much more confident in their accuracy. This leads to contractors being able to bid on more work and therefore win more work. Because the software is cloud-based, you can use Stack anytime, anywhere, whether you're in the office, out in the field, or at home. Their software gives you access to plans and project details when and where you need them from your phone, tablet, Mac, PC, whatever. Another nice feature of Stack is that it includes unlimited training and support via chat, phone, or email, so you'll never be left in search on your own for how to do something. In the past year, Stack has wel welcomed more than 25,000 users. They've got over 12 million plans and over 315,000 projects. Generals and subcontractors across the world rely on Stack to speed up their bid process and submit accurate estimates. And this is good news. You can get a free Stack account at www.stackct.com. If you're at the Builder Show, be sure to visit Stack in booth number SU216 located in the South Hall and make sure to tell them that you heard about it on the podcast. Up next is Co-Construct. I actually reached out to these folks a few months ago because I kept hearing about it from my coaching clients who were builders and remodelers. Co-Construct is a web and mobile-based construction management system for custom home builders and remodelers. And their mission is to reduce chaos in your day to create a rewarding building experience for both you and your clients, reducing chaos. There's that term again. Thousands of companies rely on co-construct every day to coordinate their projects, communicate with their clients and crew, and control all the financials of their business. It is the only single entry estimating system that allows you to enter a piece of information once and have that data flow directly from the estimates specs, selections, bids, change orders, budgets, and to and from QuickBooks with no double entry. I'm a big fan of no double entry. In addition to the fully integrated financial system, CoConstruct connects your scheduling, communication, client, and subcontractor portals, files, photos, to-dos, time clock, job log, warranty, and more all into one solution, one-stop shopping. By using CoConstruct, You'll be able to manage your projects from your tablet or your desktop and in the field with their mobile app. So whether you're looking to grow your business efficiently, solidify your, your reputation as a top builder in your area, or capitalize on the opportunity in your market, Co-Construct's system and their dedicated team of implementation coaches and U.S.-based support team is on call with unlimited assistance for you and your team. That also includes the option of live two-day in-person training to get you 
going fast. Softwareadvice.com just announced that CoConstruct is the number one software in its front runners matrix. And CoConstruct was also named overall top software for 2018 by Finances Online. Visit CoConstruct at IBS so they can show you what it means to, quote, build together and find out about exclusive IBS-only specials, including some extra great offers that you can only get the first day of the show. Go check out the, the team at their booth at the Builder Show. They're at SU1025. And go to their website, coconstruct.com. One of the unique things about CoConstruct is they have a builder in residence on their team. His name's Spencer Paget. He's a good dude. And Spencer is going to be at IBS. He'll be at the booth. And he's also giving a few talks while he's there. One of the talks that you should check out is titled Managing Business Growth, a roadmap for taking the leap from small to medium and beyond. Here's the description of this talk that Spencer Paget's going to be giving. A small builder's business is in constant flux, and finding an avenue for growth can be daunting. The ability to scale sales, operations, construction supervision, and client services allows that growth to happen, but only if it is tightly managed and the risks are addressed. Using real-world examples and strategies employed by multi-state home builder. This advanced session provides you with the practical growth management tools for managing finances and quality controls, adopting technology, and creating the right team of employees, trades, and vendors. Whether you're planning to reposition within a current market or expand into a different, you're going to walk away from this session with the roadmap to growth for your business. So go check that out. That is Tuesday, February 19th at 11 a.m. The location is North 252. Go check out Spencer's talk there. Here are a couple of other talks that I recommend you check out. This one is from my buddy Sean Van Dyke. It's titled Hunting for Unicorns, Creating the Skilled Labor You Need by Attracting and Cultivating Talent. Here's the description. This advanced session explores why construction companies must, must shift from, quote, hiring for skill to recruiting for talent in order to remain relevant in the coming years and how to develop recruiting, hiring, and training practices that show millennials a path and create opportunities along the way. You'll learn how to successfully attract and develop your own skilled labor force and what that means for the companies that don't. If you want to go check out Sean Van Dyke's talk, it's on Wednesday, February 20th at 1.45 p.m., located at South 227. And hey, since you're listening to this podcast, you obviously like podcasts. And if you want to check out a talk about podcasts, Devin Tilly from The Art of Construction has a talk titled Learning and Growing Through Podcasts. Here's the description. When was the last time you signed up for a course, read a business management book, or went to a home builder association meeting to hear a great speaker? Well, it's likely that most builders haven't done more than one of these things in the past year, but everyone knows how much time they spend in their vehicles, and it's generally a lot. Making podcasts a great option for builders with limited time for learning. You can use that time to absorb new management skills, fine-tune marketing plans, and learn what it takes to keep employees safe and working on the job site. There's a world of experts out there offering their wisdom on podcasts, and some are even free. So, Devin says, let's discuss how you can test, design, and challenge your business model through podcasts. That talk is on Thursday, February 21st at 12.30 p.m. in room North 261. And then one last talk I'd like to mention is a talk that I'm going to be giving. It's titled, It's Not a Skilled Labor Problem, It's a Process Problem. Here's the deal. The skilled labor shortage in, this, in the construction industry isn't really a problem. The shortage of skilled labor is actually a symptom of an underlying process problem. This session, you'll uncover some of the process problems hidden in plain sight, how another industry is addressing its skilled labor shortage, and what you can do, such as adopting off-site building solutions to relieve the strain on your labor force before you hire more employees. I'll be giving this talk on Wednesday, February 20th at 4.30 p.m. in the Building Systems Council Hospitality Lounge in North 242. I'd love to see you there, so come see me. 
Go check out these other exhibitors, check out these talks, and if there is another talk that you would recommend, then leave a comment on this post. You can find the links and everything that we talked about in this podcast episode over at constructionleadingedge.com slash IBS2019. That's constructionleadingedge.com slash IBS2019. That wraps this up. I hope to see you in Vegas at the Builder Show. You can find me at constructionleadingedge.com. If you are a construction business owner and you want to eliminate chaos, if you want to get your finances in order, or if you just want to create more time, then I'd love to get on the phone with you. You can schedule a free call with me. Go to my website, constructionleadingedge.com. There's a big red button that says schedule your free call or something like that. And I look forward to talking to you. As always, thanks for the ratings and reviews. I'll talk to you next time.